Okay, here we go, midweek here. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 11, beginning at verse 25. At the time Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for though you have hidden these things from the wise and learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Childlike, not childish, but childlike. Uh, there was a little book, uh, School Children, they put together had with those, um, what do you call them, sayings, you know? Anyway, I've got the, anyway. You know, penny earned, a penny saved. What is it? I forget what they're called. But anyway, here's some terms of those common ones. And uh, here's how I explain it. If you can't stand the heat, get a pool. A bird in the hand is messy. Don't count your chickens, eat them. When in Rome, do Roman numeros. A fool and his money are my best friends. A penny saved is one cent. Look before you run into a pole. Every cloud has a wet spot. And that's the children's uh, definitions. What are those things called? You know there, Greg? You know, the saying that, you know, Penny Earns the saying that's a, uh, gosh, my mind went blank. I'm getting old. But I like the simplicity of these children. And Lord says that's the way to be simple like children as well, to be childlike, not childish, not foolish, not immature, but the simplicity. Simplicity to see the eyes of faith, to see God in our hand, to render my note. To understand no matter how old we may be, we never outgrow our need for God, and we're always God's child. Some of us sometimes when we become old, become intellectual, and we think we're too big, too bright, and we think we manage on our own. One of the best blessings that a person you remember to see someone who is intelligent yet has great faith. No matter may be, as wise we as wise may be and experienced it may be, we always have the faith of a child, trusting in God's care and love for us. Amen.